Thank you for joining me in this video. I'm going to talk about a 3ds Max feature that was taken away by Autodesk. A feature that is no longer available, I think, since version 2022. The feature I'm talking about is a little one, but most annoying when missing. Why this feature was removed, everyone can speculate. I did not find any official um, explanation why this feature is missing from now on in 3D Studio Max. Um, if you know that, please leave a comment and we all can uh, check out uh, and see why Autodesk removed this feature. I, have, I can speculate a little bit and I think it might have to do with um, licensing and, and royalties because the MP4 file format is protected somehow. But that's just speculation because all applications have an offer MP4 export and reading of MP4 files. So basically no one knows why it's missing in 3D Studio Max. So you already, I already mentioned I'm talking about the uh, writing of MOV or MP4 files. Um, probably most of you force yourself now to uh, turn to uh, image sequence reading and writing uh, workflow, which is totally fine. And usually is, that's the way you go when you are doing professional productions. However, especially when you have to do fast turnarounds, uh, previews, uh, textures, textures from videos and all this kind of stuff, um, MP4 reading, native reading of MP4 files is really a must. And I find it so annoying that this is missing in the newer versions of 3D Studio Max. So this is the reason why we developed our own MP4 reader. And it's just 20 bucks. It's such a little tool. I understand it's a file import export. It should be by default uh, in 3D Studio Max. So it is not the case. We developed a professional MP4 file reader exporter and it's just 20 bucks a year. We will keep it updated and it helps you so much. It's the, the memory savings alone is worth this uh, little tiny price we have and ask for. So let me just uh, show you and dive right into uh, the product. I'll show you how this little tool works and I'm pretty sure you will agree every 3D Studio Max user should have this tool and work with this tool. Let me just switch to my uh, full screen monitor. And here we have uh, a 3D Studio Max scene where I used uh, the Max MP4 file writer and reader. And I used it in nearly every aspect of this scene. So as I mentioned, your daily workflows, they should be going back to writing MP4 files because it's much faster, easier to handle, easier to ship around. Um, it's just much better. So let me show you the first uh, argument I have here for our tool, and that is in using textures. Right now I'm forced to use, or everyone is forced to use image file sequences. So what we have here is our background tracked image we have here, and that's a video. And it's a pretty long video. So I have a lot of files awkwardly um, named wherever they come from. It's, it's a nightmare to manage these kind of things. You ha either have your folders and make sure the other one working with that has the same folder structures and the same files and, and so on. And on top of that, this uh, sequence takes about 400 megabytes. So wouldn't it be much, much better to just use 73 megabytes, one file I can wrap, archive everything together and all is fine. So, and it's really compact and, and a small file. So, and this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just selecting our MP4. So we have added mp4 as the file reader for um, images and that's practically all you need to do is open an mp4 file this feature i know it doesn't look bombastic and and big and blah 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 
but that's a feature that should be in 3D Studio Max, but it isn't anymore. And it's such uh, uh, an advantage to natively work with MP4 files. And here I'm using the MP4 file as um, a texture or bitmap for the background for the environment. So let me just uh, show you here uh, the environment controls. Here we just use this file here. So now I have this as my background and it's an animated, obviously it's a, a video that runs. And when I um, play back here, keep in mind, I'm recording everything on the same machine, I'm recording here, 4K uh, video stream, audio and uh, this video. So now I have my MP4 file here, much easier to handle, much smaller space. Now the next thing I might want to do is and there I find it the most annoying that this was has been removed from uh, by Autodesk is when I create an, uh, a preview. Because right now the only option is you can create this amazing, wonderful AVI. Let's just create an AVI. Um, let me just create here a few frames and it's, it's just unbelievable and it, it just doesn't make sense anymore. Just for a few, uh, for a few frames, we will end up with megabytes and, and if we would do the full sequence, we would end up with gigabytes of a file. So let me just cancel that. So we're about, um, let me just cancel this uh, creation of the preview. Um, we had about 20 frames. So as we can see, we have here our little meteor meteorites flashing in and it's an AVI file. So if we go to our open preview animation folder. Let me just bring that into the view. We can see it's 60 megabytes for 20 frames only. So 60 megabytes already gone. So that is crazy. So now we also integrated our MP4 because in each section of 3 Studio Max, you have to do some extra work to, to make this work properly. Um, we can choose now our file format to MP4. And then we can save it. It will ask us for the settings. And as I mentioned, we have the option for the HEVC, the high efficiency codec, the H265 or H264. So it's up to you which graphics card you have. I have an NVIDIA card that's supported here. Uh, you can control very easy. So it's perfect for these preview stuff and you can bump up the quality to, to high quality if you want, but I'll just leave it as that. And now we can just uh, create another preview and we're, we're just doing the same um, sequence, 20, 20 or so frames. Um, let's see, or even we can do a little bit more frames. Let me just do a few more frames and I'll just cancel that one. And we can see, let me just put that on repeat. It's a standard uh, high efficiency file format MP4 works perfectly. You can play it back on any machine on this planet, including iPads, iPhones, uh, Android phones, whatever you want. So it's very fast. Put it out, put it on, on uh, uh, the cloud and your customers can see the previews. It's, it's just easier, faster to handle that. And that for 20 bucks, come on. What are we talking about? You, you, you spent more for any other uh, stuff that is not as use, useful and, and saves you time and, and hard disk space. So another thing is obviously you can use that as well in rendering if you want to render out a file files. So you can choose the MP4, same deal here. You just um, say what file format you want, high efficiency format or not. And then you write out your animation and you have a MP4 file and all in one go. So. 
that's our little tool, Max MP4. I know it's not that bombastic AI revolutionary stuff, but it is kind of revolutionary because we bring back a feature that is so important for, especially when you're working with media and creation, file creation, you need MP4s. So I would say, Thank you for watching this short little video. I hope you understand what Max MP4 is for and how we integrated it. And I hope you see the value as well. And thank you so much. I will put in uh, the description where you can download it and uh, buy this little plugin. Um, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.